The word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and the spirit and the joints and the marrow. And it is a critic of thoughts and intents of the heart. All scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, or accurately handling the word of truth. Dear brethren, in a gist of summary that we can get back to you, the timeline of the angelic conflict so that you can understand your sojourning in this earth is not permanent. Various men who have come around to tell that we can stay back in this earth permanently by following the procedure of cloning, by following the procedure of XYZ trends, by looking upon the concentration of those things which are not at all to be considered as permanency in this earth. When the Bible says we are sojourners, we are pilgrims, we have to go through the Bible not with the trends and the technology, which they can combine together by forming nano, bio, geno, or any other trends which they can come back with, even including robotic technology. The word of the Lord tells that we are sojourners, we are the pilgrims, and when the word of the Lord tells to us, then we need to understand why are we sojourners, and why, and what was the reason that God created man. So in order to know that, we need to make sure that we are having the timeline of the angelic conflict. In eternity past, the prehistoric trail which I went through, God created prior to that angelic creation. The revolt of Satan in its pride against my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as per Ezekiel 28 in the King of Tyre. Many of the people they think it includes lot many metaphors. It does not include to that king but rather it absolutely includes to the description further moving through the King of Tyre into the kingdom of Satan and to tell what exactly went wrong with that mind and what exactly it caused this great revolt. Prior to this, the great fall through the pride, the prideness of this man, Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 through 14, permanently describes what is the true status quo of Satan. Where we can meet face to face Satan in the Bible is among these two chapters. Number one, Isaiah 14, and Ezekiel, number two, Isaiah, Ezekiel 28. Many of the pastors who were just oversee these things, they have not even come close to understand what it is, this angelic conflict. Far less they can try to know and understand this gap theory. 1 John 1, 1, 1 and 1 John 1, 2 is a permanent clear of explanation for you to understand whatever Lord does, he does it in an organized way. And since this revolt occurred, the earth was been completely tohu wa bohu, what we can see Genesis 1, 1 describes. And furthermore, it is for our great importance to note that this tohu wa bohu was taken again a route to renovate in the literal six days. And this earth is now being placed over here in this, in this realm for this angelic conflict to be absolutely resolved. This angelic conflict first started with Adam and Eve. The way which has to take place the result, it has been noted the way how Adam absolutely failed. Then too, Lord in his grace provision provided the redemption, not because that he was compromising his essence or character, but the way how Satan tried to win that battle was in a wrong way. Actually, Satan would have gone directly to Adam and would have told and made him to eat and Satan knew if it would go directly to Adam and ask him to eat Adam will never do that because Lord Adam knew very well how to come how to be obedient to Lord's command but do you know the process wherewith this Satan went was with a weakling, the weaker vessel. She was doing that sin in, in, in the 
point of ignorance, but Adam was doing that sin in the point of cognizance. So it went through Eve, and that's what the Bible records. It is of no value for us. That's why the redemption solution was being given, because Satan couldn't meet those terms and conditions as Lord mandated to be resolved for the first couple which has been kept in the Garden of Eden. Exactly, dear brethren, then on the propagation of the human race which came back from recreation, it became to procreation. The metamorphomisms, from where God should become a God-man, the promise given for us in Genesis 3.15. From where we can look, Adam, who was there earlier free of cost, now he has to work out for his own bread. And the earth which has been cursed because of him will not yield its fruit. Dear brethren, the point of considering that we need to note, we have many allegory or imagery that we can count. But in each and every aspect of the word of the Lord, we have a process of edification which we have to go through. This process of edification definitely clears out our mind, definitely causes us to be more accurate in our thinking, whether you take it allegorically, or spiritually, or literally, or imagery, you do have the points for the edification so that you cannot be like those ensamples ensampled to us, but rather we should be a maximum glorification of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ believers, wherewith you and I can comprehend and give number one priority for Bible doctrine. There is no other way that we are being kept alive in this earth apart from taking number one priority, apart from being being holy as our Lord God Almighty is holy, apart from manifesting a holy walk in our life, apart from manifesting a witnessing through our life, apart from manifesting the presence of that great fragments. Whenever, dear brethren, we have to go through, we have been seeing and watching so many stupidified advertisements in the television network saying that if you could use this prey, women will get attracted to you. If you use this prey, even the kid will be happy because of your fragments. All those things is literally given to us. It is not only a point of spray. In fact, even it includes the deodorant as well. Why I'm telling this simple example? Because when and Lord has told, you have to be a sweet-smelling fragment to the people among the midst of this previous and crooked generation who do not know the value of the word of the Lord. You should be like a sweet-smelling aroma. It is not that spray that you're going to that you're going to put upon your body which will make them to be absolutely happy. No, it is your doctrine, the essence of doctrine, the principle of doctrine that will cause them to be happy with you. And that is what you have to show forth and that if you want to show forth, you have to have you have to go through this if clause condition which is in the third one you may or may not you may grow up or you may not grow up and you have to grow up in the knowledge of bible doctrine there is no other method that this fragments could be shown forth to this unbelieving world by your holy walk by the witnessing of your life or by the witnessing of your lips until and unless you take number one priority for bible doctrine if it is not doctrine resident in your soul, it is no way possible for you to take number one priority. And if it is not doctrine, then there is no essence that you can spread. Then there is no sweet-smelling aroma to the unbelievers, even in fact even to the believers as well. That's why you do not know the importance of this reality of this unique spiritual life. You do not know the importance of this maximum glorification of Christ wherewith each and every believer has been designed. You do not even know what is this angelic creation. You do not even know what is that trail and the word it and the sentence by God in this angelic conflict so that Satan could be thrown out into the lake of fire forever and forever. You do not even know why God wanted to create man, the creation of man, so that the man can be an answer to this angelic conflict. The Satan's appeal for coterminous with all human history, not only from the creation of man, where the propagation of the race take place, furthermore the fall of man and and then the Gentile realm, there we have the washout of this world once again, where Satan wants the no pure genes to come out, but rather it wants to take it through Nephilims. And Nephilims were been washed out in the flood, and we do have now through Noah and the three 
sons of Noah, a pure generation. And from there we find the great man Abraham. There we find again the great man deliverer for Moses. And from Abraham, though the Israelites began, the Hebrews were being called, but Moses was a man who brought them out through the bondage of Egypt and caused them to form the nation of Israel. And from there it went to the book of Malachi till the first advent of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And then more further, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ also resolved this angelic conflict by telling to the point he was faithful to the very word of our Lord which has been given to us as a son of man. This son of man not only giving one through Ezekiel even our Lord that though we are there in the physical body of this earth though we are infirmity in the human energy then too by the human energy when we can make us to stand we could be a great witnesses witnesses of individual witnesses of corporate but today many of the people who have failed to learn this simple doctrine in the knowledge of the realm of the ministry of Lord God, the Holy Spirit have become a great failures so in the first advent of Christ we can tell the hypostatic union, ascension of Christ, and in the Pentecost AD, the beginning of the church. Israel and the church are different to entities. Israel is a rational creature. Church is a spiritual species, termed out as Aleke Niketesis. This church, again, further divided into two parts, the pre-canon period and the post-canon period. And there we have the completion of the Bible doctrine in AD 96. And from there we have the total completion, began with Moses in 1440 BC, 1441 BC. Furthermore, with AD 96 when the church has been terminated through rapture we look into the second advent of Christ first prior to that seven years tribulation after the tribulation the second advent of our Christ and the millennium and during the end of the millennium there will be a great revolt through Mog and Gog through Gog and Magog and that revelation will be causing the Satan's release and there the final battle and then we look back into the new universe dear brethren this is what we can have a timeline of the angelic conflict so that you can make sure now you're fitting in into this church this church given for each and every believer the baptism of Lord God the Holy Spirit as per 1st Corinthians 12 13 it is not gibberishly jumping around in the tongues when the completion of canon of taken because the post canon period differs with the spiritual gifts not with the pre canon period and furthermore each and every believer has been given to reach that maximum glorification for Christ as they grow up in the knowledge of Bible doctrine so, dear brethren, ponder over these things as we continue in the next tape. Father, we are grateful for the privilege that thou was given to fellowship with you through thy word. We pray that, Lord God, the Holy Spirit will enter us in these things and make it a source of blessing and challenge, sovereign Lord. Father, we ask it in Christ's name, Father. Amen.